Hi, I'm Robbie Burgess. I'm the chief starter for the uh, Formula Ones and the biplanes. We are the only classes that actually start on the runway. I'm from Carson City. I've been doing this for about 12 years. My day job, I'm a state trooper with Nevada Highway Patrol, and I'm stationed out in Hawthorne, Nevada. I'm a fourth generation Nevada boy, and I've been coming out to the air races since I was a little guy. Uh, my first recollections of the Reno Air Races was coming out here with my dad in the early 70s. And uh, he'd bring me out here and we'd watch from the stands and go into the pits and look at all the airplanes. And I tell you what, I've been nuts about aviation ever since. My uncle Paul, uh, he was actually the official starter for the Reno Air Races from 1964 until I took over in 1998 and I started coming out with him uh, in the mid-90s. At the time, I didn't know he was kind of grooming me to take over. Back in 2000, he said, hey, Robbie, you want to take over? And I'm like, take over? What do you mean take over? Because he had been the chief starter since 1964. He goes, well, I think I'm going to retire and move to Arizona. Okay, I think I could do that. I've been watching you for a few years, and uh, I, didn't, I didn't know what, exactly what he did, but I thought I could raise the flag and drop the flag just as easy as he did. A little tougher than that, though. You're on the radio, you're watching the clock, and trying to launch the aircraft out there appointed times. He pulled himself out of it. If you ever watch the video of that, it will amaze you. The biggest concern I have out here is pilot safety. That's the paramount job that I have out here. Um, as a starter, my job is to get the biplanes or the Formula Ones out on the runway, get them started up, get them actually ready for the race. Off. Obviously, we go off. We go off a schedule. You know, we're very much uh, dictated by a schedule. We have a like a an eight o'clock launch or a eight thirty launch. What I do is get the biplanes. They're staged out here at Alpha Three, and actually the Formula Ones are staged at the end of runway zero eight. Get the aircraft staged on the runway. Get them started up. And while I'm doing this, I'm also in contact with race control, get, giving them a, a count exactly when I'm going to have these aircraft take off. And at the appointed hour, when our takeoff time is, say, at 8.30, I'm out here with the flags, I'm watching my wristwatch and launching the aircraft. I do have a VHF radio that I can have contact with the, with the racers, but I do not talk to them individually because there's so much going on. They've got, they've got that race face going on. I don't want to talk to them. As we have other controllers. I have my, my people out here also in front of the aircraft and letting the racers know by hand count how far we are. What I'll do is I've got a radio on. And I'll tell them, hey, we've got 10 minutes to a start. My guys in front of the aircraft while the engines are running they're standing off to the side, they'll make eye contact with the pilots and they'll say 10 minutes. So they got 10 minutes to a start. And we'll do that all the way down to one minute. Once the one minute is down, my guys come off the runway and they point to me wherever I'm at, whether I'm in the back of my truck or I'm out here on the runway with my flag to, to watch me. The wind, is, it, it's what happens out here at Stead. We're used to the wind, and uh, just depending on how fast the wind's going, you know, we'll make a call. It's like we can fly or we can't fly, but you know, the little guys are really susceptible to the winds. I can't remember. There wasn't a day we've never flown. Just getting my aircraft up and launched it safely. That's the biggest thing. Out here at Stead, it's so dynamic. You've got planes coming in, you've got planes leaving. One of the things we're doing out here when we're launching aircraft, there may be an, a, C, a C-130 coming in, and I've got to squeeze a C-130 coming in while my planes are racing or in between races. And we just got to be flexible and dynamic. Pretty much when, when I've got the Formula Ones and the biplanes out here, it is my race course. It is my airport. After I'm completed with the Formula Ones and the biplanes, what I do after that, I switch hats for the Reno Air Races and I become what we call the pilot check. Uh, once, uh, what my job with the pilot check is, I help ensure 
for the for the Air Race Association that every pilot that's getting into a certain aircraft is the person that's supposed to be supposed to be flying that particular aircraft. They have to have their proper credentials. There's certifications under waiver that they have to fly particular aircraft. Say Steve Hinton Jr. has to he knows how to fly a T6. He can't jump in from Strega and to fly into and jump into another T6 and fly it around the course. Every pilot has to go into a certain aircraft and I ensure for the arena air races that every pilot is getting into their particular aircraft. Over the years I've gotten to know a lot of the pilots and I know who's getting into and and what I also have is I have photo verification. I can see who's getting into each aircraft and it's like okay that matches okay that matches and if I don't know them then I'll go through the the program it's like okay that's who that is and that's how that works. I've got I've got two other guys that help me, uh, Gary Martin and Craig Weir. They they also help me with the starting. Also, you know, I, I have a group of volunteers that actually help me. Um, I believe me, I couldn't do it all by myself. So I have a group of volunteers that actually come out and help me also. Volunteering here at the Reno Air Races is is a, such a gratifying thing, and it's if you love aviation and you want to be able to come out here and help with the air races, it's a wonderful thing to do. I've been doing it for, like I said, I've been doing it for numerous years, and it's one of the events I just love doing. The relationships out here, it's the camaraderie with the aviation and the pilots and the fans have just been wonderful. Um, I tell you what, the Reno event, like I said, it's been going on since 1964. It's the only event such as its kind in the world. Um, a lot of memories, a lot of great people. It's I, 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 I tell you what, because of volunteering, this is what makes volunteering awesome. It's just the people that, that we have around us.